welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to build led flasher circuit with 555 timer ic so the components which we need for this experiment are a breadboard 555 timer ic led one microfarad capacitor 470 kilo ohm resistor 100 kilo ohm resistor 220 ohm resistor two jumper wires and a 9 volt battery first of all i'm going to connect the ic to the breadboard now for ic imagine i connect the ic like this into the breadboard in this case pin 1 which is ground is connected to pin 8 which is power supply in this case we don't have any current we cannot have any current in our circuit and the circuit doesn't work pin 1 and pin 8 they have to be separated from each other so then i'm going to connect the ic like this in this case there's going to be a gap between the pins and pin 1 and pin 8 they cannot be con connected to each other in this case so let's uh, start by finding out the pin configuration of our AC as you can see there is a notch in the left side of the IC and from this point we can understand that this one is going to be our first pin pin 2, pin 3, pin 4 top right is going to be pin 5, 6, 7 and 8 let's start making the circuit so according to the diagram pins 2 and 6 has to be connected to each other pin 4 and 8 they have to be also connected to each other so pin 2 is going to be here I'm going to connect it to pin 6 which is right here then pin 4 and 8 4 is going to be here and 8 is going to be the last pin so perfect now I'm going to connect my LED to the circuit for LED the longer leg is always positive or anode and according to the diagram the anode has to be connected to pin 3 so I'm going to connect the anode to pin 3 like this now for cathode also the other leg of the led the cathode hasn't has not it should not connect to any pins of the ic and because of that i put cathode one uh, space apart from the ic then I'm going to connect my capacitor same as the LED the longer leg on the capacitor is always the anode or positive and according to the diagram the cathode has to be connected to pin 1 and anode has to be connected to pin 2 so the longer leg which is our anode has to be connected to pin 2 and the shorter leg to pin 1 just like this perfect so now we are going to connect our resistors to the circuit our 470 kilo ohm resistor uh, r2 is going to be connected to pin 6 and 7 of the ic so we'll move my battery right here pin 6 and pin 7 this going to be like Yeah, looks good pin 6 and pin 7 400 kilo ohm resistor r1 this resistor has to be connected from pin 7 to 8 so from pin 7 to 8 now looks good the other resistor is also connected perfect 
and the last part uh, load resistor is uh, according to the diagram it has to be connected one side to the pin one and another side to the cathode of the led so first of all i'm going to connect it to pin one and the other side is going to be connected to the cathode of the LED, also the minus part. Perfect. So, I'm going to show you the circuit for a bit. Then, as of we are done with the circuit, and I'm going to connect the battery to the breadboard. So, pin one, as I said, is always going to be the ground for the IC. Well, not always for uh, 555 timer and pin 8 is going to be our power supply so i'm going to connect two breadboard pins to pin 1 and to pin 8 then i have my battery over here so the positive terminal of the battery goes to pin 8 perfect and the negative terminal goes to pin 1 so we have created a LED flasher circuit now let's make it more interesting the LED right now flashes and fades away so quickly so I'm going to increase the flashing time of the LED how? I'm going to add another capacitor with a value of 2.2 microfarad in parallel to the capacitor of 1 microfarad so now the total capacitance will be 3.3 .3 microfarad and as you see the LED stays on much longer than before the reason behind this is that the total capacitance is at 3.3 .3 microfarad and according to our formula given in the circuit diagram the high time of the led is directly proportional to the capacitance the value of the capacitors so before was one microfarad and now it's 3.3 microfarad and now the capacitors needs more time to discharge and the discharging place is of course in the led so led stays much longer than before